All right, today we're going to take a look at how to install the Amazon App Store onto your Android Power phone. If you haven't heard about the Amazon App Store, they offer a free paid app every day, um, which is usually a little bit higher quality app than what you would get for free off of the Google Marketplace. So the first step is we're going to have to go to Amazon.com and get them to send us a link uh, via our email to download the App Store. All right. Sometimes there's a advertisement box here advertising the uh, Amazon App Store. It's not there now, so we're gonna go ahead and go to over here on the side panel, App Store for Android. We we'll just click Apps, and we see that there's a uh, an app here available, uh, $6.99 normal price. It's free for today. All right. You'll have to enter in either your mobile phone to receive a text with the uh, link to download the app or insert your email here. Now once you do so and click go, uh, some instructions will pop up including a video uh, describing the next steps that you'll have to do. We're going to assume that I've already done that and sent it and check our phone now for, uh, for the email with the link. All right. So now, now the, uh, we should have the link by now sent us via email in our phone. So we'll check our email on the phone, the proper account. So refresh, make sure that it checks the account, see if we've got any email. All right. And there we have the email that says that the App Store link has arrived. Apps you can make requires you to change in one of the permissions uh, for your device. If you go to Menu and click Settings, you get a choice here. And if you scroll up to Applications, you find the first box up here is unknown sor sources allow installation of non-market applications basically you're giving a permission to install applications from an alternative source other than Google market so you need to go ahead and click that and make it green when you do they'll give you a little warning your phone and personal data are more vulnerable to attack by applications from unknown sources you agree that you are solely responsible for any damage to your phone a loss of data that may result from using these applications. That's because um, although most of these applications are also on Google Market, uh, Google can't take the responsibility uh, since you're getting apps from an alternative source. But once you have that checked, the phone will be ready to install the Amazon App Store. Go back to the Amazon email and I open that now. Here we see the email and it says download the Amazon App Store immediately by clicking here. So let's try that out. Click it. And I got a little message that's starting uh, to download. We check our little status bar. The last thing on the list. Uh, Amazon App Store release APK it's already completed so we'll click that you could have also gone to um, your icon in your your app drawer that says downloads and you would have found it there okay. it says here replace application because we already have the application installed if you don't have it installed yet you probably won't get this message but you might get some other message about installing it so we'll click OK. Now it's asking for permissions. This lets the App Store uh, have access to network communication so it can download uh, your accounts, storage, and uh, read the status of the phone, whether or not it's in a phone call or not. So we're going to click install. The App Store is now installed. 
if we click open, we'll see the Amazon App Store on our phone. Uh, gives us a list of uh, top paid, top free, and there we see the different um, apps that are available. You can choose by category across the top, and the free app usually appears right up here. Today's free app, Charlie Brown Christmas. Normally $6.99. Uh, it would say buy or purchase, but since it's free, you'll still register a sale, but it'll be for zero amount. Now, you do have to have an Amazon account with a credit card on file uh, to even get the free stuff. So, um, and that's how you do it. And then you can place your icon wherever you like, leave it in your drawer. You can see that I have my Amazon App Store button right above my market. Uh, button so that I can check it daily to see what kind of great apps are being given away for free. So there you have it. If you have any questions uh, or comments, feel free to leave them below. And thanks for watching.